Dennis. Hi, nice to meet you. Do you mind if I video you? So, out of respect for Brett's partner and his friend, he didn't want to be videoed, so I shut the camera off for a bit. Well, as you can see here, Brett, he was the guy that built our counters and our cabinets on the inside of the boat, is measuring for a new Dodger. We opted for a hard Dodger because we wanted the durability of what a hard Dodger offers. With canvas, we'd probably have to replace the canvas about every five years or so, but a hard Dodger is going to last the rest of the life of the boat, if it's done right. Brett is a really careful carpenter. Actually, he's a shipwright, uh, if you want to use proper terms on him. Unlike Jim the Arch Guy, who was really meticulous as an engineer, Brett tends to be more artistic, and he goes with what's needed to get the job done. That seems to be a better approach for him, and when you're working with wood, it seems to work for him. Uh, Jim the Arch Guy was working with stainless steel, so yeah, you got to be, uh, be kind of on your engineering game to do that. Uh, here you can see Brett's measuring for the bottom support of the Dodger in the front. When he finishes the fascias, we'll take him down, we'll have the windows put in, and uh, then he's going to glass in all of the wood. Uh, he's using, I believe, half-inch marine-grade plywood here, and then he's, of course, going to glass over it. Um, the entire structure will be bolted onto the deck, uh, and it's going to look like an original part of the boat when he's finished with it. Uh, Brett has about 25 to 30 years' experience with this sort of thing. He glassed, he's gl glassed in many a power boats and he's extended uh, the boat's sterns and done structural work so he really knows what he's doing. Um, the front windows are going to be hinged so that we can open them while we're underway or at anchor and we're going to have plenty of grab rails all over the place. Uh, around the, the rear part of the roof of the Dodger there's going to be a gentle curve. Uh, that's where we'll be attaching uh, a bimini to go over the, the rest of the cockpit. The Dodger is going to cover about half and the rear part where the snaps go on and the bimini uh, takes over will cover the other half. It's our design but we left the design details to Brett because he's good. He's really good at what he does. I think it's going to be fine and on the flip side as far as opening windows I'm I'm more concerned that we have some kind of an opening to let the breeze through when we're at anchor and it's 95 degrees out in the tropics. What about you know? the very center window? That's... The very center window maybe open the yeah, I mean I, I can do that <laughs> what would be a way that we could, I understand what Tom's saying, so we're sitting in the tropicals or something. So what Dennis was saying in that case is, is just... <laughs> Okay, Brett the camera hand, we are, uh, we're going to leave you with it. I just want to say that, you know, this is the beginning of this really awesome Dodger we're going to make for the Silva. And a flex for the camera. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> See you soon. All right. Be good, Brett. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Video of the drawing.